Hey, Gary Baker here with PublisherReport.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use BookBolt and Creative Fabrica to create book covers for Amazon KDP. I had someone ask me how to do this, so I thought I would just make a quick video to make sure that you fully understand how to use these two resources together. So first, let's pop on the computer. And if you don't have a BookBolt account, you can start one for free. There's a link in the description. And of course, if you don't know what Creative Fabrica is, there's also a link in the description of that. That's where you can get tons of fonts, graphics, all kinds of stuff for print on demand, all kinds of stuff to help you create just about anything really. But again, we're focused on creating book covers. So now we're gonna pop into BookBolt and I'm gonna show you how the BookBolt cover creator works. So once you get your free account, it's a three day free account, you can actually try this out. You'll log in and you'll see this right here, which is tons of videos on how to use everything inside of BookBolt, which it starts on the research pane right here. And to get to the actual BookBolt cover creator, you drop this down and you go into the create section. Here they have Puzzle Wiz, BookBolt Designer, and Bolt Mass Cover Converter. What we're looking here is the BookBolt Designer. Inside the BookBolt Designer, you're gonna have the capability to create covers and interiors. You might have to log in when you get to this screen, so go ahead and just enter your same information that you used to log into BookBolt, but if you've logged in already, it's gonna look like this, and you have the ability to create covers or interiors. We're focused here on covers, so we'll go ahead and select cover. Then we'll select our trim size. Of course here, this will be the size of your book. We'll go ahead and say six by nine. Paper color, whether you're going to create a book with color pages or pages that have color on them, white or cream, we'll go ahead and go with cream, I mean white, and then we'll select our page count. Of course, all these questions are being asked because it's going to lay out the grid where you can and cannot put images and text. So you'll go ahead and you'll select submit. It'll say here generating template. It can take a couple of minutes. So just be patient while it loads up. Then when that loads up, you'll see right here, this is your cover mock-up. There is this red, pink, or orange line with the black dotted line through it, which is your front cover, your back cover, and your spine, which you can put text, images. You can also change the color. So for example, if you didn't want white, if you wanted this color, you'd simply just select the color. Or you could go with a nice color like this, one, two, one, two, one, two for a hex code. Or you could go back to white, and just play with it like that. What I wanna show you here is the fonts. So what you do is you're gonna scroll down and you're going to go to text. Now BookBolt itself already has, I believe 1200 fonts. You can see right here, load a thousand more fonts. But the focus here is uploading fonts that we're going to find from Creative Fabrica. Because the key here is making very unique books and book covers, specifically the book cover that stands out and Creative Fabrica is going to allow you to do that because they have fonts that you're not going to find here or that other people aren't going to find here as just the purchase of BookBolt or in the free version of BookBolt. You can stand out a little bit further by taking it to the next level, which is an account with Creative Fabrica. You can see here, upload fonts, file extensions accepted, .ttf, .woff, and star .w OFF2. You can do some more research on that and we might cover that a little later here on the channel. But these are just font formats and it has to be one of those three to be accepted. And now let's pop over to Creative Fabrica and find a font and upload it and then play around a little more here in BookBolt. So here we are in Creative Fabrica. Of course, I am logged in. If you're not, you can purchase these as standalone products. I actually have the monthly membership so simply just go in here and let's just go ahead and search fishing. Because the thing is, is you're not going to just find fonts here. You're going to find everything from a search like the search we're doing here for fishing. Here you're going to see tons and tons and tons and tons of things about fishing to include some great ideas for fishing book covers. All right. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go to fonts and we're just going to grab one of these and we're just going to download it. And we'll go ahead and the golden roasted looks pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and download this. For some reason, this sort of looks like fishing to me. I don't know why. And it might be the one we want. We'll scroll down and we'll look right here at the fonts. You can see the examples right there. And if we scroll back up, what you can do is you can click download right here. Of course, read the license so you fully understand what you can and cannot do with this. 
on everything you buy to include Creative Fabrica, Book Bolt, anything you use. If you purchase it, make sure you have the rights to use it as your own and to sell it. But we'll go ahead and click Download. That downloaded here in the left hand corner, we'll go ahead and click Open to open that zip file. You'll see that that will open. And of course, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac or whatever your operating system may be, it'll open up in your file manager and then you can double click that and you'll be able to see the files. Again, we were looking for this TTF, so we have it. So now we're gonna upload it into BookBolt. And to do that, let's pop back over to BookBolt. All right, we're back in BookBolt. We're gonna go ahead and upload the fonts. And of course, we're gonna go into the golden roasted right there, the golden roasted.ttf. Go ahead and that will upload. Then you can see right there, you can simply choose that, drag it over in here, and now we have that font. And if we wanna edit it, we simply just start editing. And then of course, you have all the options here. You can edit the text. You can change the font size right here with the slider. You can also increase the letter spacing like that. You can change the line height by going like that. So you can see you can manipulate this any way you need to do it. Of course, there is this part right here, text effect. This is really a cool function of BookBolt that I like is you can easily create curved text. You can create a bridged look or an oblique look. It really gives some cool style to the fonts that you just uploaded from Creative Fabrica. So you can see the changes right there. Of course, you can text align it. You can go uppercase, you can go lowercase. You can change the bold, italicize, all that good kind of stuff. Of course, fill options, patterns, arrange different layers, everything that you could do that you need to do is right here inside of BookBolt. Also, if you make any changes you want to undo, for example, if you change the color and you don't like it, all you simply do is come back up here and select undo. And it's just that simple to upload fonts that you get from Creative Fabrica to really get in here inside of BookBolt and create a very unique design and if this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Typewriter right here, click that typewriter, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos just like the videos you see right here. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.